Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here. In today's video, I'll be talking about the Jonathan Allen to the Miami Dolphins trade rumors that are circulating today on Twitter and talk about what it would take for the Dolphins to get him and why I really don't buy these rumors that much. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and that notification bell as well so you never miss a video. Also comment down below how many wins you think the commanders will get. Schedule released yesterday, made a video on that, so check that out. All right, so let's get right into the video. And I saw these rumors circulating today and I wanted to address it because I know people will have questions and ask me, oh, should I believe these rumors? Is Jonathan Allen actually getting traded? So this came on, this all started, you know, Brandon put it out. He's a, you know, big fan page, shout out to him. Uh, always support me as well. Make sure you guys check him out. But puts out a bunch of stuff in the Lockdown Commanders podcast, was talking about a rumor, you know, that they were hearing from some of their sources. So it's not super, super reliable. Uh, but it does bring up maybe a good discussion point about Jonathan Allen because when the commanders did draft Johnny Newton, not saying that it made me think they were going to trade John Allen, but it made it seem like, okay, maybe there's a little bit of a higher chance now that they did draft someone like Johnny Newton. And we had like end of last season or after the season was over, we had John Allen talk about, you know, he was asked about being traded and I'm pretty sure he didn't really, he wasn't totally against it obviously he'd probably rather stay here but he also wants to win so i don't think he's totally against a trade but he also today uh i mean he posted on insta first time in a while said let's do this thing httc hail to the commander so i really don't think it's gonna happen but uh yeah i just don't think he's gonna get traded that's my take on the whole situation would I be opposed to it? I wouldn't be totally opposed to it because again, we are rebuilding. And if you can trade him for, let's say a solid young player and like a second round pick, then I wouldn't mind it. And again, a solid young player at maybe a position of need. Uh, I don't know if you're getting that for John Allen. I really don't know, but that's what I would do for him. He is getting a little bit older and you know, he's still, I think he has one or two more years left on his deal. I can look it up in a second, John Athen Allen contract. But yeah, he's a homegrown player, four years, $72 million. And I guess he signed in 2021, so that's 2021, 2022, 2023. And I guess, or it says the contract runs through the 2026 season. So he's still gonna be here for you know this year, the next couple seasons as well. That's at least what this says. We can look here on over the cap. Uh, the commanders also still have John Payne on the books, or I guess through the 2025 season. So he'll play here, and his cap number is 21. His cap number is $23 million in 2025, 8.8% .8 of the cap. So he's you know has a you know huge cap number for the Washington Commanders, and he's got to step up. Last year he did not play amazing; he was hurt. So I'm going to give him a little bit of a pass. But if he could, you know plays the way he did you know, last year, this year, then I think that's when we start to get a problem. And this is a guy that, you know, again, he's right now, he's what, 29, 20, 28, 29. I don't know when his birthday is, but he's getting to the age where, okay, like this is, he might have one more contract after this, you know, like a two or three year deal. And then he's going to be close to done. So you're a rebuilding team. Do you truly want him on the team? Do you think he's going to, uh be a contributor when you are a contender which you know maybe some fans think we're going to win 10 11 games this year i don't think so i hope i really hope that happens but i think it's going to be more like half of that like five or six and i really and I, I don't know if i stressed it enough in my video yesterday talking about the schedule so go ahead and check it out but where i go week by week but the record it matters obviously next uh, this next season but what really matters is how good Jaden Daniels look and his development. Because if we have like maybe a bad season record wise, but we're close in a lot of games and Jaden Daniels looks really good, then we'll have a good draft pick and you can expect a, you know, a leap for Jaden Daniels in the second year and you can push a little bit more in free agency to get some guys that can help you win in that next year. Maybe you make the playoffs that year. Uh, but it might. it's going to take a while. This year, I don't think we're winning. We might not even win in 2025. That's like the first year we can even talk about it. 
2026 is really when you talk about it and he's going to be unrestricted free agent in 2026 so the question is do you want to keep him around for that they have a lot they still have this full 2024 season and full 2025 season to you know have him around so they can keep him get another good year out of him and trade him next off season and get johnny newton to have a full year behind john allen and Deron Payne, and then you can trade him because if Johnny Noon is a player that we hope he is, and if he's a stud, you want to play him as much as possible. And having him, John Allen, and Deron Payne on the field together, like as much as you want to have him on, is this not really going to be possible? So you might have to trade one of them, and you're going to have time to figure that out. So I don't necessarily think a trade is going to happen this offseason, but I do think that eventually it's going to need to happen. And that's, again, that's only assuming that Johnny Newton's a stud. If, and that's why I say you wait to trade John Allen because it's not like he's a free agent this year. You have time before you need to make a move. You have time. So I say keep John Allen, keep Deron Payne this year. And um, yeah, just, just keep him this year. See how Johnny Newton looks. Maybe even Federian Mathis and John Ridgeway. And then if Johnny Newton looks like a stud, then you know what? Go ahead and trade Deron Payne or John Allen, either one. But, you know, Deron Payne, not only did he come, you know, he went into the league a year after John Allen, but I believe he is a few years young, like at least two years younger. I'm pretty sure he's three years younger, though. Deron Payne, yeah, 26 years old. So he's been in the league for a long time, but he's still a very young guy, and he's going to be a hopefully uh, still a good player four years from now when he's 30 versus John Allen he's going to be 30 in a year and just don't know how much he's going to be able to help us in three four years is when we're or two three four years when we're hopefully contending see Deron Payne one two three four five six seasons here with the commanders had a down year for sure this past year after having a huge year in 2022 so let's hope he has a better 2024 a much better 2024 season let's double those sack numbers and make some game changing plays that we paid him to do we paid him a lot of money we paid him a lot of money so let's see him uh you know earn that contract so i'm hoping he does and hoping jonathan allen has a bounce back here as well so i really don't think this trade rumor has a lot of merit and I don't really think they need to trade John Allen or on Payne this this offseason. Maybe next you know next season they will, but right now I just don't see it being necessary to trade your two star. I think they're star players or at least Pro Bowl players, and you know keep them around, see if they can help develop Johnny Newton. And if John Newton ends up being a stud, then hey, you can trade one of the three of them. Uh, but and probably going to be one of the two guys that are getting paid a lot of money. Maybe you can get some. So a draft pick, but right now, again, I would just keep these guys and see what they can do this year. Try to instill that culture that Dan Quinn wants this season. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and that notification bell as well. Appreciate all you guys for sticking around to the end. If you did stick around, and I guess they they mentioned Deami Brown too. I really don't care about that. I don't think we're getting anything for Deami Brown. Like maybe a sixth seventh round pick he hasn't done anything to deserve being traded for more than that so yeah sixth seventh round pick at most just like why would a team give up a fifth fourth round pick for someone that's had like what 400 500 career yards in three seasons and just really hasn't improved a lot so i'm not trying to you know like yeah, I don't want to trash on him, but I just don't think he's a tradable player. If he is, you're getting not much for him. But hey, if you did stay till the end, go ahead and comment. I'm gonna let, let's go. I'm trying to think of an older, not an older, older player, but we'll, we'll go Santana Moss. Go ahead and Santana Moss. Comment down below, Santana Moss. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and peace.